Hello, welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. Today I'm just going to burn sulfur and oxygen and check the properties of the product of the burning, sulfur dioxide. Here I have conical flask filled with oxygen. And here is sulfur, yellow powder, which melts at pretty low melting point. You see it easily turns into clear liquid, which first turns brown, deep brown and virtually black. Now it probably started burning already, although the flame is difficult to see in the air. But it will be pretty visible in oxygen. Let's see. We observe here clear textbook description. Sulfur burns in oxygen with bright blue flame. Sulfur burns, forming sulfur dioxide, and that's the equation. Pretty easy to balance. We write solid, in standard state at least, it's solid. Gaseous oxygen producing gaseous sulfur dioxide. Now for other properties. First, reducing one. For that we need oxidizing agent, which changed color on reduction. This is acidified potassium dichromate. It's prepared by mixing these two liquids. Potassium dichromate solution and sulfuric acid. Here is filter paper. I dip it in acidified potassium dichromate. One I keep as control and another I put in the gas. The result of burning. Color changes virtually immediately from orange into green. That's the test for sulfur dioxide. Acidified potassium dichromate paper turning from orange to green. And now for another property, acidic properties. You say that sulfur dioxide is an acidic gas. Let's check it with water, clear distilled water with universal indicator on it. Universal indicator is green, which means water in the beaker is neutral, pH 7. Even no need to mix it up, still we can mix it up a little bit to make sure. pH is definitely at least 4 or maybe even lower, because 4 is the limit of this particular indicator. Ok, here is the group photo of the result. Acidic properties and reducing properties of sulfur dioxide. We have found out that sulfur dioxide is acidic gas and reducing gas. Now I'm just going to show you the formulas, equations, which illustrate this property in this particular case. Why it is acidic? Well, simply just for a simple fact that it's non-metallic oxide. Many non-metallic oxides are acidic. They react with water forming acids. This is not an exception. It reacts with water forming sulfurous acid. Almost like sulfuric, but SO3 here. One oxygen less. It can take, this sulfur can take one oxygen more. And this is the reason for its reducing properties. So this is weak acid, but it's still acidic enough to bring pH quite low. Now for reducing properties. Let's take sulfite ion for simplicity. Sulfite ion would change into sulfate on oxidation. Adding one oxygen, oxidation state of sulfur here, if you can calculate it, but I'm just telling it, is plus 4 and here is plus 6. It means two electrons are lost. I can write just them here, two electrons. 
to get a to get a balanced equation we just take care of oxygens with water and of hydrogens with hydrogen ions that's the general rule of balancing half equations in acidic conditions so i have to add one water molecule here because for oxygens on three i need four oxygens on left four oxygen on the right and here i need to balance hydrogens with hydrogen ions two hydrogen ions that's the half equation for oxidation of sulfite ion into sulfate for every mole of sulfite ion we have two moles of electrons produced and now for oxidizing agent side potassium dichromate we used but the ion which is interesting to us is chromium 207 2 minus dichromate ion it is changing into green chromium 3 plus orange green well <clears throat> let's balance it like that uh, two chromiums two chromiums again the same rule balancing for oxygens in acidic conditions with water and with hydrogens with hydrogen ions And now taking care of electrons here oxidation state is plus six and here equal to the charge plus three it means each chromium atom received three electrons difference between six and three but there are two chromiums here so we have to multiply this three by two six electrons is received that's the half equation for dichromate when it's oxidizing some reducing agent. In this case, it was oxidizing sulfur dioxide or more precisely sulfite ion. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe to the channel and encourage me with likes. See you next time. Bye.